Boys, this is our first review for Shadow Keep, and I feel like this is the best weapon to kick it off. Oh, faithful, oh, reliable Monte Carlo. I don't know many weapons outside of maybe Half Dan that just oozes sex appeal, but this one's it, man. Now, Monte has been brought to us revamped inside of Destiny 2, and it actually has a couple of changes. First up, the intrinsic perk on this weapon is Monte Carlo Method. Dealing damage with this weapon reduces your melee cooldown, and grants a chance to fully charge your melee ability with each kill. Now that's not very different than its exotic perk back in Destiny 1, but where it does differ is the chance to give you back a fully charged melee. I don't know if this thing is cracked guys, but at least every other kill, if not every kill, gave me back my melee completely when getting a kill. Like I know it says it grants a chance, but it is extremely reliable and that you will always have a melee, which of course brings up a bunch of build ideas. But before we get into that, the rest of the perks on this weapon, we also have fluted barrel for that added handling speed, high caliber rounds for that increase in range, as well as a little bit of flinch, and then the trait itself, Markov Chain. This weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon. Melee kills grant ammo for this weapon. First up, that perk may sound confusing. Think of it just like Swashbuckler. It actually stacks up to times five and you can earn those stacks in two ways. You can start by just killing people with this auto rifle and upon receiving a kill, Markov Chain will proc and you've got four and a half seconds there of increased damage to then get another stack. Now inside of PvP, this is really not the most reliable way to get to Markov Chain times five. And you really want to get to Markov Chain times five because the progression of damage seems to really jump at times five, which takes us to our second method of getting Markov Chain times five stacks. And that is to just run around and get melee kills. Now I don't really want to get into builds, but you probably see my super jumping up ginormously, especially in this sandbox when supers take a while to get. I'm actually rocking Bottom Tree Sentinel for that new crispy suppression shoulder charge, which by the way, works. I was quite pleased with it. But on top of that, I'm also rocking Doomfang, which of course grants us a large amount of super energy with every void melee kill. And for something like Monte Carlo, that is constantly giving back our melee energy, thus resulting in us always having a shoulder charge on hand. Now let's talk about those damage values of Monte, or at least base Monte Carlo. Now Monte Carlo is a 600 round per minute auto rifle and it hits 23 per crit and 14 per body. It has a 0.8 second time to kill here in Crucible at 9 crits. Not a lot of forgiveness there guys, considering that it's also an auto rifle and you're going against the likes of pulse rifles, hand cannons, shotguns. So if you want to be effective with an auto rifle, yeah, you, you got to be on point. Now with Markov Chain times 5, say I run up in there, I get the shoulder charge off into an enemy. I now proc the power of the Markov. I am now hitting 30 per crit and 19 per body, which now drops our time to kill to 0.6 seconds at six crits and one body. Now it's not bad. You got to put some work into it, of course, but you get four and a half seconds there to go to pound town on anyone around you after proccing Markov chain times five. And I actually love it because it actually takes people by surprise because they see you with an auto rifle and they're like, ah, I got you, man. And then you're like, bam. But a beautiful thing about Markov chain is that you can keep proccing it as getting a kill or even a melee kill will continually keep extending this buff for Monte Carlo. Now inside of PvP, base Monte Carlo to Markov Chain times 5, we're looking at a 30% increase in crit damage and a 35% increase in body shot damage. Now this is just inside of PvP. Bungie actually gave a little bit of fluff there in body shot damage, probably to just add a little more forgiveness. Overall guys, Monte Carlo, is it going to be a must-have weapon for PvP? Some people are going to use it. Some people are going to pretty much do what I'm doing right here, which is just memeing with it. Auto rifles in general are in a tough spot. Spot, especially in PvP, because there's so many weapons that can do what they do and do it better. Not only that, the range, despite Monte Carlo stats looking very solid, really hurt these weapons. So much so that I was having a tough time figuring out which weapons I wanted to put with it. I contemplated actually rocking Monte Carlo with a sniper rifle, and that's crazy considering how healthy these stats look. Overall, for my PvP guys, Monte is not a bad option, especially if you're trying to take advantage of your melee more often, which in this situation with Doomfang and Bottom Tree Sentinel, where I'm constantly getting a shoulder charge off, or just want to have a suppression ready at all times, it is extremely beneficial. But outside of that, this weapon on its own merits, you're going to have to work to get kills. Now, moving into PvE, PvE damage numbers are actually pretty nice. First up, Monty over on Greg is hitting 542 
2.2 per crit and 338 per body. Now at Markov chain times 5, we're looking at 894 per crit and 558 per body. So base Monty to Markov chain times 5. Inside of PvE, we're looking at a 65% increase in both crit and body shot damage. Now that's pretty common. Most of your traits and your perks perform better in PvE as they're more down back inside of PvP. What I don't know is how Monty stacks up against weapons like Breakneck or even other regular weapons with things like Swashbuckler inside of PvE. Considering that Swashbuckler, Onslaught, and so many of the other perks kill clip rampage all of those things have all been nerfed in some way so i want to say monty is is really good with that 65 percent increase i know swashbuckler inside of pve used to give us a 65 percent increase in damage at times five i really don't know where it sits now we're gonna have to test those values out regardless though i think the value of monty inside of pve goes up exponentially as having your melee ready is so important like for me considering i like to play titan having a melee Melee ready on top tree Sentinel and constantly giving my teammates an overshield is extremely valuable. But even on the other end, having Hammer Strike ready for that debuff at all times, or if you wanted to take the route of Bottom Tree Striker, proccing things like Frontal Assault and Knockout together to get more damage on Majors, to then just turn around with your now 65% buffed up Monte Carlo. And again, every melee kill grants you ammo for Monte Carlo. Overall, guys, this is a very solid auto rifle for what it is is designed for i think it also performs pretty decently well it's got a good healthy magazine size good stats and this markov chain times five was a great spin to include on this weapon that originally only gave us the benefits of the monte carlo perk which was just a cooldown reduction in our melees including that damage multiplier is a very nice touch so guys get your hands on it by the way shout out to american fun guy for allowing us to get on his account he got this as a rule drop i know some people were like saving up exotic ingrams from last season not sure how he did it, but it is a roll drop, guys. So get to grinding. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.